Hey everybody, this is Holy Mike at EPG Studios. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're gonna do a recap of the Apple of the Apple WDDC, whatever you should call it, right? 2022. Now, I'm excited about this Apple event. I already watched it, but we're gonna just recap about the most important parts and react to those most important parts of the Apple event and what I'm truly excited about and what I'm not too excited about. The things I don't care about or I think you should be excited for. Make sure you like and subscribe to the notification bell. Thank you for watching EPG Studios. Now let's figure out what is news coming to iOS. Beautiful, Beautiful. and helpful than ever. Ooh, Let me sexy Rico. This guy seems like an android. Honestly, he seems like an android. With my daughter's appearing in front of the time. I really love it. Now, if I just press and hold, I can personalize it further. I'll just tap customize, Ooh. and now I'm in the editor. Now, check this out. I can simply swipe to try out different styles that automatically change the color filter oh that's sick man the black the and white is completely sick i did not see this i did not see this i'm sorry i skipped to it really beautiful. but i, I didn't so see let's this go with this one now of course if i want to change anything it's easy to easy dial, to dial further, further to get it get just, just the way, the way all I need All to do, do is, is tap, tap on any element, element of the lock screen to start editing so let's customize the font i can audition he's saying let's customize and choose that is fucking cool and I like this color. I'll just adjust the shade a little bit. I think this looks awesome now. Now, I can also make my lock screen more helpful by putting widgets right on the lock screen. Ooh. So let me move the girls down here and tap in to bring up That's the widget That's actually really, really cool. And these are really useful for getting information at a glance, like upcoming calendar events. So I'll add the take it temperature, to one, two, uh, my activity rings, and let's drag in the calendar widget. Now, this is great. And what's even better is I'm not limited to just one. Let's create another. I can bring up our brand new wallpaper gallery, which showcases a bunch of options for inspiration. And there are plenty to choose from here. See, so they've been pretty sucky on the wallpaper stuff. Now I finally see them actually catching up, which is really nice. I can choose a set of photos to shuffle throughout the day. And we also have- Oh, uh, that's cool. Intelligently curated for my personal library, like the best shots of family that look great on the lock screen. Now, this is an awesome one to add to my collection. Now, I've created a bunch of other lock screens, and by simply swiping, I can switch between them. It's amazing the range you can create. Here's weather, which shows live weather conditions, like a downpour and lightning. I just love this animation. Here's a really cool emoji wallpaper. This man and talking about rain has happened multiple times to this one. From our astronomy collection. Watch how it animates fluidly as I swipe into the home screen. So it has to be astronomy so collection to speak if you're just a NASA nerd or something, huh? And for developers, Widget Kit makes it quick and easy to put glanceable information from. All right, so that's about the developers. Year, we're making it easier to use Siri with apps. There are over fifteen thousand. So it's all about the Siri part of this as well. Siri kits and Siri shortcuts. And today these require manual setup. So we're introducing a new developer API built using the Swift programming language called AppIntense. Now shortcuts work with zero setup, so you can use. Siri Why is the quality so bad? Apps. Is it me? Now or... let's talk about another feature powered by intelligence live text live text is so useful because it's deeply integrated across the entire os letting you interact with text and images across the system from camera and safari to notes and screenshots and this year we're excited to take this integration further by bringing live text to video now you can pause a video on any frame and interact with text just like you can today with photos it's great for copying code there's no way there's no way the things you do with okay with quick actions so now you're just a tap away from converting currency and translating a foreign language. And for an even That's getting closer to the AR stuff. That's completely getting closer with the aut augmented reality. That's completely how we're getting closer with that. It's great for when you have lots of text to translate. And for developers, we're also excited to announce a live text API. Soon, you will be able to grab text straight from photos and videos in apps like Vimeo. And photos are about more than just text. That's why last year we introduced Visual Lookup. A feature that recognizes objects like pets, landmarks, plants, and more, and gives you rich information about what's in your images. And this year, we have a new feature that takes image understanding further. Now, when you touch and hold on the subject of an image, you can lift it away from the background and place it in apps like Messages. It feels like magic. It's actually the product of an advanced machine learning model, which is accelerated by CoreML and the neural engine to perform 40 billion operations in just milliseconds. Mm. Together, live text and visual lookup Continue to unlock rich and useful information from your photos and videos across iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. Back to you, Craig. 
So another segment I wanted to look at here is uh, uh, not here. I wanted to go with the home kit. Because HomeKit haven't really been that big of a deal with Apple, but I wanted to make sure we look into that because that seems very cool. Whether helping you through your morning routine or keeping you connected on your next road trip, iOS has you covered. This year, we're bringing exciting updates to your home and your car. To tell you what's new in the home, here's Corey. Our home is perhaps the most important place in our lives and there's a lot to manage. Smart home accessories can make it easier and more convenient to control your home right from your iPhone. You can do things like see who's at the door while working at your desk or turn off the lights downstairs without getting out of bed. And when you're away from you can home, do it with Alexa, you can though. the front door is locked or adjust the temperature so it's just right when you get back. And your smart home is all the more powerful when your accessories work together, reacting to changes automatically. Now the smart home is still in its early days and we want to help bring these powerful experiences to as many homes as possible. In order to build a connection, what's that picture you're supposed to me? It's important that you have the most choice, so you don't have to worry about what works with what. With that in mind, we joined forces with other industry leaders to create a new smart home connectivity standard. It's called Matter. Matter enables smart home accessories to work together across platforms. And to ensure we stay hmm. true to our values, we contributed HomeKit, our smart home framework, as the foundation of this new standard. So it's built on the same core principles and maintains the highest level of security. Industry leading brands have already committed to supporting Matter with over 130 products Google? in the pipeline. Hmm. And that's just the Oh, oh Philips, you definitely. Okay. An underlying foundation to connect smart home accessories. And it allows us to innovate on top of it. We take privacy further, ensuring that data about how you use your accessories is processed and stored by default in a way that even Apple can't see. With Matter, we can continue to create amazing experiences in the home app, while also making sure all your different accessories are consistently simple to set up and easy to use. And now that you'll have more accessory options to choose from, let's check out how we made the experience even better with an all new home map. We reimagined it from the ground up, starting with the underlying architecture so it's more efficient and reliable, especially for homes with many accessories. We also completely redesigned how you navigate, organize, and view accessories to make it easier to control your smart home. We've integrated your rooms and favorites into the main tab of the app so you can see your entire home in a single view. And we made sure it looks great whether you're just getting started or have built out an advanced connected home. We've added new categories for climate, lights, security, and more. And an overview of what's happening in each category right at the top of the screen. And climate is a great way to navigate within the app. When you tap on a specific category, you see all the relevant accessories organized by room and more detailed status information. A multi-camera view displays up to four cameras at once, front and center, and you can scroll to the right to see any additional cameras. We also redesigned tiles so the different accessories are more visually recognizable through shape and color. And with the new widgets on the lock screen, it's easier than ever to see how your home is doing. So that's the all new home app and it's coming to iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Now that you have what you need to keep tabs on your home, you're ready to hit the road. Let's hand it off to Emily to talk about CarPlay. CarPlay is the smarter, safer way to use your iPhone in the car and has fundamentally changed the way people interact with There has to be a green screen that they have. Oh, even a blue screen. Knowing Apple, that's probably a blue screen. Not going to lie. 79% of U.S. buyers would only consider a car that works with CarPlay. It's a must-have feature when shopping for a new vehicle. No, when I bought a new car, I had it. I was like, dope. Use apps in the car using the familiar UI from their iPhone. But cars have trash and it's boring as fuck. Size screens and more of them throughout the car. There's an opportunity for iPhone to play an even more important role. We've been working with automakers to reinvent the in-car experience across all of the driver's screens. Let's take a sneak peek. At this next it would be all the drivers soon because what I I just watched this and my car would not split this It's a 2021 model, but I don't think There's so much to explore here. Let's take a closer look this next generation of CarPlay provides that would be really cool, but I'm curious to see what car would what Today cars would support this. It's unified and consistent. It's the very best of both your car and your iPhone, and it goes beyond what you can do with CarPlay today. Deep integration with the car's hardware lets you tune your car's radio or change your temperature without ever leaving the CarPlay experience. It also includes widgets powered by your iPhone that fit your screens perfectly. They can live front and center in the gauge cluster as well, giving you information at a glance. 
My gay cluster is digital, but I don't think you can access. They can convert that though. That's it. communicates with your vehicle's real-time systems in an on-device, privacy-friendly way, showing all of your driving information, like speed, RPMs, fuel level, temperature, and more. And no matter what type of unique screen shapes or layouts you may have, this next generation of CarPlay feels like it was made specifically for your car. We're also excited to give you the ability to make the core of the driving experience unique to you. We carefully oh, so if it's going to change, then, okay, so they're just showing the best of it. So, like, my car could handle the NFL, okay. Dial treatments, I see, I see, I get it. Various looks and feels. You can choose different curated themes and styles for your gauges. And automakers from around the world are excited to bring this new vision of CarPlay to customers. This is just a taste of what the next generation of CarPlay will bring. Vehicles will start to be announced late next year, and we can't wait to show you more further down the road. And now, I'll hand it back to Craig. And that's iOS 16, a mighty release that gives you entirely new ways to make iOS your own. It also helps you stay in touch with ease, engage with the world around you. So guys, you can see there's a lot of important things coming to iOS 16. And that was the big thing of this entire presentation, to be bold and honest with you, on my opinion. So make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. I recreated Willy Walker. Niggas who play with me who dead, them niggas ain't wanna live. No. She gave me here and that hair was giving what it was supposed to give. I came out here and got on cause I was doing what I was supposed to do. The way she ate me up and ate them kids, I don't think she want no kids. These niggas beefing for IG, but bitch, I wanna kill. Kept getting blessed, bitch, I hustle. I ain't wanna steal. I whip this bitch out now in front of all these cameras, niggas know what it is. I hit out his side with a warrant, I think he wanna steal. Pussy pulled me over the little folk. I see it's we do, I see it's we cry. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt you guys' video. I know you guys have a lot of intro interruptions. Or if you're just watching this straight from YouTube video, I don't know. But just to be real fast for you, um, we now have channel members on EPG Studios Entertainment channel. So, um, all you gotta do is just make sure you go to the uh, EPG. If you're watching another channel, like a gaming channel, a TikTok highlights channel, even the Holy Mike channel, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on anything, Make sure you go ahead and click, go to EPG's Entertainment, pause this video, click, click another link, go to EPG Studios uh, logo and hit the join button. That join button helps support the channel and helps pay for our staff, our editing team, and also our um, graphic designing team and our hosts as well. Now all you gotta do is only $2.99 a month. A lot of people have $2.99 a month, so it's not that bad, but click that button, um, $2.99 a month. It allows you to be able to see unbefore content and also unannounced content that hasn't been on the channel before that's only just for members also we'll have content launched early because now we're doing one video a week schedule now there will be videos launched early for uh, members so if you want to get more entertainment throughout the week make sure you hit that channel uh, channel button anyway guys I appreciate you guys I'll see you in a little bit